I am Anil Kumar. We'll discuss equivalent polynomials in this video. The question is for each of the following pair of functions, label the pairs as equivalent, non equivalent, or cannot be determined. So the first set is f of 0 equals to g of 0. The second is p of 1 is not equal to q of 1. So these are all functions and c is the function m, m of x is equal to g of x for x belonging to real numbers and then we have d which is f of x equals to x square plus 4 and g of x equals to x plus 2 whole square. We need to figure out whether they are equivalent or they are not equivalent or we just can't find since information is incomplete. Okay. Now, what are equivalent polynomials and how can you say that two are equivalent polynomials? So one is they could have same graph, exactly right, same graph. Or they could have same simplified equation. Or what else? Um, or we could just match all points. in their domain. Even if one point is different, then the functions are not equal. That's the whole idea. So these are three ways to figure out whether the given polynomials are, it works for any function for that matter, are equivalent or not. So let's answer right from the very beginning. We are given f of 0 equals to g of 0. Now these two are equivalent or not. Since we are only given one point, we don't know about the other points. We say it cannot be determined. Perfect. Okay. The second one here is, in the function p, p of 1 is not equal to q of 1. Since there is at least one point we know of which is not same, we know they are non-equivalent. Perfect. So that is what I meant by saying match all points. If one or two points are matched, we don't know about others, we cannot say for sure whether they are equivalent or not. Right. So this one is non-equivalent. So I hope you have understood what equivalent polynomials or thereby what equivalent functions are. Right. The next one is m of x equals to n of x for all x belonging to real numbers. For polynomials, they are defined for all real numbers. So that becomes the definition of equivalent polynomials, right? So these are always equivalent. Perfect. So what are equivalent polynomials? Two polynomials are equivalent if in the domain of real numbers, every point matches. Right, so for polynomials, it always stands, all real numbers. Part D is f of x equals to x squared plus 4, g of x is x plus 2 whole square. Are they equivalent or not? You could do it by taking points. For example, if I choose 0, let me show you here. So if I write what is f of 0 equals to, I get 0 plus 4, which is 4. And if I write what is g of 0 equals to 0 plus 2, 2 square, which is, which is also 4. So we found that one point is exactly same. However, if I find the value at 1, then I get 1 plus 4, may I write square, is 5. However, g of 1 is 1 plus 3 whole square, which is 16. So definitely they are not equivalent. So let me write down here, non-equivalent or not equivalent, right? So you could do by checking points as we did. Alternate method could be, we just expand g of x, which is x plus two whole square. You could write this as 
x square plus 2 times 2x which is which is I should write 4x here plus 4 2 square which is 4 is it okay so expand it and you can clearly see that one term is missing 4x 4x is not there right so uh, as you can match what is f of x f of x is actually equals to x squared plus 4 so this term is missing and therefore their equations don't match when simplified so we use the second definition to show that they are not equivalent you could even sketch them so let me just go one more step here sketch them not necessary you could do either one of these x squared plus 4 will be a parabola which will be kind of like this opening upwards x is 0 y intercept 4 minimum value is 0 4 in x plus 2 whole square means translated two units to the left right so so it may go through through this point let me be very specific this time normally I'm not they do have one point in common however their graphs are not matching at all right so we can very clearly see using one of these techniques and answer such questions I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Feel free to share and subscribe to my videos and if you like, you can put some likes, that'd be highly appreciated. Thank you and all the best.